page turners and welcome back to the channel i'm matthew the man with the hat who reads and welcome back to random ramblings i haven't done one of these videos in a while and thought let's get into it if you're new here and don't know what this series is random ramblings is essentially where i pick a random topic somewhere in the booktube community or just about my reading in general and then ramble on about it for a short while and this is kind of a revisit so one I did about a year ago. I will tag that link that video down below. Well, we're talking about DNFing again, or a new term that we can now use for that. I will get to in a little bit, but a little brief history on that. So about a year ago, I did a random ramblings video talking about how I don't really ever DNF a book. I usually give the author the chance on that book and we'll read it cover to cover. So I can say, yes, I did read this. I can give a fair assessment of it. If it ain't for me, it ain't for me, whatever. About six months after that, I DNF'd a book for the first time in years. Um, Poppy Show by Leon Ross. Namely because it just wasn't working for me at all. It wasn't clicking. Nothing was clicking on it. It wasn't that it was badly written. I just didn't care enough about what was going on. And just gave up on it. I had enough. Um, but I said, okay, but that's on DNF in a long span. If I go that way again, it will be months and years before I DNF a book again. Well, then the new year happened. Um, if you're still fairly new to the channel, you might not know. In January, I gave up on David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest after 100 pages. It was just such a slog. I was struggling so bad with it. And it was making me hate reading. And I'm sorry if a book is making me hate something that I have loved for years. It needs to go fast. So I DNF'd it. It was kind of a bummer because it was like a big part of my plans for January. And it was a book I'd heard really good things about. Which... We're not going to get into all that again. That was a mess. Whatever. I thought, okay, we DNF'd a book again. Whatever. But then in February now, I DNF'd another one. <laughs> another thick, thick book. This was Tad Williams' Otherland. I made it 200 pages into this. Just over 200 pages in. It's like 210, 215, something. About 210. I had no clue what the hell was going on. <laughs> I had no clue what was going on in this book that far in and i thought i could struggle through and get to the end if it was like a 400 page book i maybe would have held out but since it's 780 pages i just i was like i can't go any farther with this and since it's the first in a series and there's three other volumes of this that are all just as thick out there i haven't got any of them yet thank goodness but I couldn't. I just really, really, really couldn't continue on with this. And I'm going to put a word down here in the bottom of the screen, right about here. This is the name of one of the characters in the book. I have yet to figure out how to pronounce this thing. I mean, I've struggled with pronunciation of character names before and stuff like this. But this name, good luck. I'd love to hear how it's pronounced. Someone tell me in the comments, am I, how do I pronounce this? Because I really, really want to know. Because it's it drove me batty every time I'd see it. And yes, it is. I put it out exactly the way it is in the book. That's how it's spelled everywhere in the book. And every time that name would pop up, it annoyed me. But nothing against Tad Williams. I've read Tad Williams before. I've enjoyed Tad Williams before. But that book just didn't work for me at all. And I got rid of it. I DNF'd. But whatever. Anyway, so doing that, two DNFs in a two-month span, it kind of all of a sudden was like, whoa, what's going on here? Have I become an old man and I'm just grumpy now and won't want to waste my time on something that's not working for me after 100, 200 pages? I wasn't sure what was going on. And then someone commented on there. This was on MJ's Discord. I posted this whole thing. Um about DNF being being a negative term, which it is, which is kind of why I never liked doing it. It just kind of was a thing. I was like, I'm going to avoid that if I can and just keep on powering through and get it read. 
Um, but this user, whose name is What Sonia Red, I would tag her channel down below if she has one, but I couldn't find a channel anywhere for her. So I don't know even if she'll see this video. I'm hoping she does since I'm kind of giving her a shout out. But she said she uses the term H-E or had enough. And that can essentially mean that she's had enough for now. The book has given her, given you enough, or you can't face reading another page of it, which was the case with the last couple I've DNF'd. I mean, H-E'd. So I H-E'd these books, and that's going to be the term I use from now on. If I if a book doesn't work for you, I H-E'd it. I didn't DNF it. I H-E'd it. Sounds really weird saying it that way, but I H-E'd it. <laughs> um... And I guess that my stance has changed. I mean, you can change over time and grow as a person, and I think I have. If a book isn't going to work for me at this point, I think I'm more likely going to H-E it. Just depends on the book, I think. Because, like, a book cannot work for you, but if it's like a 250, 300-page book and you're halfway through it and it's not working for you, you don't have that much more of a commitment to it. But if it's something like this, where it's thicker than thick, and I'm just slamming my head into the desk because I can't take it anymore, then it needs to be quit. And maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't know. I mean, I know when I did the video before, a lot of people commented in defense of DNFing a book. And I was kind of like, yeah, but... Now I see where they're coming from. I was still foolish at that point, apparently. I'm starting to see that I can H-E a book. Or DNF, if you want the more negative term. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I gave it a shot. And, yeah. So, H-E. That's the new term, BookTube. Get on board with that. It's a great term. It doesn't sound as negative as DNFing. Um... And yeah, thank you, What Sonia Red, for that amazing term to use. And of course, MJ for the Discord she hosts where this whole discussion happened. I mean, I'm having a blast with the Discord. I don't do as much on there as I'd like, but I'm going to hopefully get more and more active here. It's been a rough start to the month. There's just been a lot going on. But that's all I really had today. This wasn't really much of a video. It was just kind of me, again, rambling, which makes it work for random ramblings but i mean i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts again on dnfing or he -ing. do you like that term better would you start using that term and kind of start the trend about it i'd love to hear from you in the comments down below as well as what was the last book that you he'd or dnf'd so i know what books to possibly stay away from that's today's video thanks for watching and until next time keep turning pages